guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and in today's PCT product demo, I'm going to sh talk about the One Step Looper and the One Step Big Looper by Beadsmith. And what they are, are uh, uh, plier style tools that will make loops for your polymer clay beads and charms and that kind of thing. Now, I'll show you how they work and everything in a second. But in um, last year when I was making this uh, mistletoe bracelet, I had to put all these little tiny charms on the end and they can take quite a long time. And the whole process takes, um, you have to take a pair of pliers, you bend over your wire. I'm not gonna show you this very closely, but I'm just gonna show you how fast or how long it takes. You have to bend it over, do another loop, you have to cut it and you can see that it can take you quite a while to get the adjustments right if you're working on it on a whole bunch of them and you you know to get it just right and the size that you want now the cool thing about the loopers is that you can do it all in one step I mean hence the name one step looper now there's two sizes this is the original um, and it's just called the one step looper and it is, it does a hole that is this little one here, which is, uh, 1.5 millimeters size hole. The big looper has a little bit bigger hole here and it is a three millimeter size hole, which is a lot bigger. And the small one is good for things like, you know, the end of an earring and that kind of thing. Um, but it's very, very easy to use. Now, um, okay, I'm just gonna show you. I've got a head pin here where and I've put a bead cap and a polymer clay bead. This is from my art um, sheet technique. And then another bead cap. And all you have to do is slide everything down to the end of your pin. And then on the tool, the spring sits at the back side and this curve goes on the right hand side and you just slide your wire through and there's a hole at the back and I'll show you where that is in a second. See how it comes out a hole at the back here? You just want to slide it right up until it's everything's all butt up to the to the bottom of that little uh, part there. Then all you do is squeeze the handles. It cuts it, slowly bends it, and into its circle and then if you tilt this back a bit it straightens the loop and then you just whoops you pop it off and you have a perfect loop on the end and you can see that that's super fast now I'll show you on the little bit bigger one so it's the same process you butt everything down to the end you slide it through now this these uh, pliers or these loopers do uh, wire that are sized um, 26 to 18. I wouldn't go much smaller than a um, 20 or maybe a 21 gauge because, and I'll show you in a sec. So now I've got it all slid in, but right up, just squeeze it. It cuts it off, pinches it up, you can straighten it out, and there you've got your perfect loop. Now if you have um, if you use a smaller gauge wire than say 20 gauge, then what happens is, is this loop here, because it's not a wrap loop, it might be a little too flimsy of a wire to have in there and it might open up on you. So I would just use 20 gauge or so. But as you can see, you can get these perfect little dangles. Now I could turn that into an earring pretty much instantly by just sliding it onto an ear wire. And, um, and there you go, you can make or you can use it on bracelets and things like that. But see how fast that is? I love this tool, it's really neat. I got these at uh, Shipwreck Beads. You can find them at lots of different locations, but uh, that's where I got these uh, ones here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a very handy tool for your polymer clay jewelry making projects. Um, if you like this video, do let us know in the comment section below. And if you've got a tool, a technique, something that you'd like me to demo, leave your suggestions in the comment section below as well. And don't forget, we have a great resource over at 
polymerclaytutor.com where you can use the search box there and find all the answers to your polymer clay questions. We'll see you next time and bye for now.